government has announced a 15% stake sale in NBCC. So the OFS, uh, the offer sale is currently underway. Anup Kumar Mittal, the chairman of NBCC, joins us now to talk about that. Mr. Mittal, good morning. Uh, apart from this 15% divestment that the government is doing, um, is there any more uh, divestment that is planned from the government's end, say over the next 6 to 12 months? No, but there is no such plan and uh, I have not heard and uh, I don't think uh, immediately there is any plan to divest more than 15%. Okay. Uh, well, uh, uh, Mr. Mittal, uh, what's the uh, uh, sense of business itself? What is your order book looking like? We understand that now some, one of those uh, smart city railway stations, smart railway stations are also coming your way. Yes, two days back, uh, Minister of Railway and Minister of Urban Development has signed an agreement um, by which uh, the railway station development will be part of uh, a smart city redevelopment. And uh, uh, as you know, that NBCC has been given uh, responsibility to do 10 railway stations uh, mm -hmm. in the country, uh, right from uh, Banaras to Lucknow and uh, Goa, Triputi, Jaipur, etc. Mm. So what, so what is the, the order book yeah. looking like, therefore, at the moment? You see, X, uh, all these things uh, which is not uh, quantified uh, yet, uh, the order book is uh, 73,000 crore rupees. Okay, 73,000 crores is the order book, X of these orders. But what do you think the revenue potential could be from these 10 railway stations that you have to execute? It's a very difficult to, I mean, tell you the numbers because two days back only this has been announced by government. So we have to prepare the DPR. Then only we can uh, be in a position to tell you that uh, what is the quantum of work. But uh, uh, the 10 railway stations and uh, most of them are big railway stations, uh, NBCC will do. So you can understand the volume. But 73,000 crores is a lot of orders. Uh Mr. Mittal, uh, I think your what your annual revenues are about six thousand crores. Uh, I mean, how how long will it take for you to execute seventy three thousand crore of orders? You see, first of all, this uh, seventy three out of this seventy three thousand order, uh, almost uh, fifty thousand uh, value crore of value of order has been uh, received only three to four months back. Mm -hmm. So it take around one year's time to get this order matured and okay. uh, put them on ground to mm -hmm. start the work actual. So the uh, otherwise uh, the every order has a time period right from three years to five years. Mm -hmm. So this entire order book of 73,000 has to be finished in five years time. So over the next one year, can you give us a guidance on what the growth for the company could be on the top line? Because you've said in the past that there's a 30% top line growth expectation over the next four to five years. But in the slightly immediate term, what are you expecting? You see, as you know that uh, we are under way of OFS, so uh, uh, I will restrict myself to tell you any forward thing. But whatever we have said uh, earlier, uh, definitely that is achievable and uh, we'll maintain that. But you will have to raise some uh, money for the capital uh, expansion because that's a huge order book you're talking about. You will be raising capital? No, no, not at all. All these orders are either redevelopment project or PNC project and ultimately redevelopment projects also has a self-revenue generation model. Okay. So there is no such plan and uh, we will not raise any money from market. Okay. What is your interest outgo anyway and your total debt? Uh, sorry? But what is your total debt and what is your annual interest outgo? Uh, total debt is nil. I mean, oh. there is no debt uh, on the company. Uh, rather, we have, uh, I mean, Fair positive uh, net worth and money. Okay. The other big concern is the fact that despite having a very healthy order book, the margins still remain very, very low. I mean, even in the quarter gone by in Q1, your margins were just about 3.6%. What could be the reason for that? And when can we expect you to scale up to high single-digit margins? You see, the major reason uh, in past uh, few quarters and uh, maybe presently also is the real estate property we could not sell uh, in market and uh, that is the only reason and I hope uh, in future uh, we will be in a position to sell our uh, inventory so our margins will increase by that. Have you heard from the government on the VSNL land development? 
Yes, uh, government is talking to us, and uh, but uh, nothing concrete has been finalized uh, yet. But uh, definitely, we are discussing the matter, and uh, hopefully, uh, very soon uh, you will hear something. Okay, I'm uh, a little intrigued still by the debt issue. What is the average execution time for a project? And you don't even have to borrow working capital. No, uh, in most of the cases, uh, working capital has uh, is to be provided by client uh, as okay. an advance, mobilization advance or uh, initial money. Uh -huh. And uh, I mean, average uh, execution cycle is two to five years time. Okay. And uh, except redevelopment project where we have to get uh, property vacated, uh, uh -huh. all other projects uh, we finish in two years time. Okay. All right, Mr. Mittal, that was a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you very much for joining us uh, with these thoughts. So at the moment, the management has not heard of any further divestment. And a bunch of new orders are probably on the way.